Hey, I'm Cece Summers, and welcome back to my absolute favorite game. My teeth are falling out. Uh, hey, I'm Cece Summers, and welcome back to my favorite game in the entire world, Price of Flesh. For this momentous occasion, I decided to dress as my favorite character, Ren. Now I know it's not an exact thing, but more of an homage. You know what I mean? And I realized. When I first played through this series, I had no idea anything about Boyfriend to Death or any of the backstory. And um, I played with the sexual content off, which is honestly just a travesty in and of itself. So we're gonna try again. And this time I'm going to turn the sexual content on because that's my favorite part of the game. I just love it so much. And it is such a shame that I missed it the first time because I just didn't know any better. So I'm going to do it again for fun. Okay, I need to take these teeth out because they're a little much. <laughs> Give me a second. It's like taking out your night retainer. <laughs> so we've got six spicy CGs to unlock for all of these characters and I for one am so excited. I wish I I could print them and put them on the wall. I haven't even seen them yet because I've never played through the game with the sexual content on but I just know I'm gonna love it. I um, decided to put a heart in my name, so every time one of the characters says my name, they have to say it with love. So if you watched my previous playthrough, you know that to get one of the achievements, I had to entirely wipe all of my save data because you had to have zero deaths in order to get that achievement. So I had the pleasure of playing through this entire game all over again, getting all of the endings and all of the CGs to unlock meme lord mode for you. And it was great and I loved every second of it. All right, now for the best part, I am ready. I'm so ready. Hey. There he is. There's my Ren. Love that guy. Whoa! Where am I? I looked down, horrified to see only shackles. If I were actually in this situation, I, have, I wouldn't be horrified by any of this. This is all great and fun. I would be so happy. I couldn't see anyone else. Hello? Suddenly, a cheerful voice rang through speakers placed around the room. Good evening and welcome. There's my guy. There's my husband. Love him. Ladies and gentlemen, have I got a treat for you. She's fresh, healthy, and alert. I'm sure she'll be versatile enough to fulfill any of your needs. As long as it's Ren's needs. The voice chuckled softly. And I'm sure you all know the drill. I'll start asking questions and you lovely folks can begin bidding at any time. Get on with it. Oh, that Derek. That silly... Silly Derek. Shut up unless you're bidding. You sound like a hag. You little shit. I bet you can't even afford anything here. Get back to... Now, now. Shouldn't we save our passion for the main event? Me? Uh, for a moment, the voices went silent. Shall we ask our items some questions and begin the bidding? I love being treated like an object. It's my favorite in the whole world. I love it so much. Okay, excellent. We're gonna we're gonna bid, and I I love it. Here's our first question. What are you doing here? Um, 
Obviously getting my ass sold. Duh. 120 cents. <laughs> the enthusiasm. Wonderful. Now, do you consider yourself to be athletic? Well, real life CC, no. But, you know, Ren CC, we gotta keep it tight, you know? So, of course we are. Yes. Here's a fun one. Are you scared? Of course not. I'm with my husband. What do I have to be scared of? The hell kind of questions are these? I made sure to speak clearly and keep my back straight. No, I'm not scared of you people. Okay, let's see. How much money do you make? Well, real life CC broke his shit. But Ren CC, obviously he makes a shit ton of money selling people like property. Which is a great quality to have. So I'm gonna say I make plenty of money. I'm so rich. 170 cents. Okay. How well do you follow instructions? Um, if, if you've been watching the channel, you know that I love following directions. And I love being told what to do and then doing it with no sass. So I'm really good at following instructions. This one's interesting. Are you a virgin? Oh, 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 oh. Who's asking? My husband? Because obviously I wouldn't be a virgin for my husband, Ren. <laughs> I would have been before Ren, but now that I'm married to him, obviously not. There's a couple left. Do you enjoy camping? Uh. Real life CC and Ren CC both hate camping. I can't get over that. My hatred is too much to to say I like camping. <laughs> Fuck camping. All right, you're doing wonderfully. Thank you, Ren. Last question: Who would you like to go home with? You, Ren, obviously. Oh, the announcer suddenly laughed with a strange bark, cause cause he's a fox, and he's. Foxy. I'm very flattered, and I would simply love to take you home, but I'm afraid the show must go on. I wish there was an ending in this game where you go home with someone else and Ren has regrets and he comes and saves you and takes you to his house instead. How great of an ending would that be? It would be so great. Oh good, it's my favorite hunter. This one is my favorite route because I love how difficult it is to stay alive. We're going to stay still. And we're going to obey Mason cuz he's, he's daddy. 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 There he is in all of his glory. God damn, you're big. He's a big boy. Thanks for the backpack, daddy. Oh look, it's the crossbow. The crossbow just shows how much of a, a great and skilled hunter he is. It in no way is a handicap for hunting at all. So while I'm trying to get these CGs, I also wanted to um, just see Lawrence and my absolute top favorite, Strayed. Because what's a Wren without his Strayed? I'm having so much fun. I've also gotten really good at surviving this game 
because of the amount of times that I had to play it to get all of the endings, consider me an expert. <laughs> oh no, I woke up. That's what a silly, silly mindset to have because being here is such an honor and I want to be awake and experience every second of it. All right, we caught a sad little fish and we're gonna cook that little shit. This is the way things have to go, little fish. Sorry about ya. But a fox has gotta eat. Look, our sanity is getting kinda low, which is weird because being here is great. My sanity would be through that bar if I got to hang out with Mason and play hide and seek all day. You're never leaving this mountain. Why would I want to? Let's eat the fish so we don't get trampled by a bear. And there's my little sugar bear, Lawrence. Don't tell Ren because I know Ren does kill Lawrence in one of the timelines, but look at sweet Lawrence. He's so sweet. He's just the sweet little cinnamon roll. You can't help but not love him. I'm here for a midnight swim with Lawrence. Hey, buddy. So you started to wander. I couldn't move. A deep sense of dread filled me to the core. Hunter's prey. That's me. This time and place will define you. I'll be waiting. I'll come back for you, Lawrence. Time to get back on my bullshit. <laughs> okay, let's go back. What? Okay. And we're gonna search. We found some bones, some deer bones. Finally, some good food. Uh-oh, I found you, Lawrence. I'll be back. Okay. Let's offer these bones to Lawrence. Come here, Lawrence. Hey, bestie. You're different, aren't you? Obviously, that's why you're obsessed with me. Look. <laughs> Says my name with love seen his dreams. There's a loaded gun behind the bear skin. Okay, let's get into the cabin. We're gonna wait for daddy. Okay, I'm gonna crawl into daddy's bed and wait for him. And now I'm being gently carried. Look at that face. Husband number two carrying me through the woods on a romantic stroll. This time I'm going to do what Lauren said and get the gun. I don't want to because I don't want to shoot my gruff little teddy bear. But I have to do what Lauren said. Okay, here he is. So sorry, Mason. Love you. Oh. Dead. That is a bad thing. The music is so upbeat and yet I don't feel like celebrating. Uh-oh, he used his crossbow to get me in the leg. And that's not cheating at all. That's smart. Uh-oh, he saw my fire. What were you thinking? I was cold. I need you to wrap me in your big strong arms. Make me warm again. At least something smelled super delicious. It was me as I'm roasting in the fire. I told you to squirm. 
Here I go. I screamed as the blade of a knife plunged into my shoulder from behind. My cry wavered as I instinctively moved my arm, only amplifying the pain. I didn't notice his weight lift from me, or the sound of rustling clothing. Oh yay! I think I found one of the CGs! Wasn't until I heard the blade sawing through the back of my pants that I realized his intention had shifted. In a split second, the shock of cold air hit my skin. I tried to lunge forward, but his large hand grabbed the back of my head. He slammed my face back into the ground. Once again, I was reminded of the coals right next to my face. I let out a choked whine as I tried to get away from the fire. At least I died in his arms. Uh-oh, daddy caught me. There's an option here I have not seen before. And the fact that it has quotation marks does not make me worried at all. So we're gonna do that. Hey, wait. Look, don't kill me. Hmm? He seemed mildly amused. Like he'd humor me, but only for a second. I gulped and bent my neck and my back, pushing my face closer to his lower body. I hoped that it was enough to demonstrate what I was offering. I was straining from the effort, but his expression didn't change. I felt my cheeks burning in humiliation and hoped that my face was already red from being hung upside down and from being in close proximity to one of my favorite people. He casually hooked a thumb into his waistband. I looked back up and saw the flash of his teeth. He definitely understood. Suddenly, he stepped forward. Oh, yikes. I mean, yay. Uh-oh. Let's see what you can do. So much. So much. Jump scare. More like... Jump... Pleasant surprise. Okay, are you going to let me go? And he laughs in my face. Love that guy. He's got such a funny sense of humor. Now I never did agree to that. He's right. He didn't. He got he got me there. Well, that's one of them. Well, look at that. Don't mind if I do. Grabbed a meaty handful of that ass. Well, it doesn't matter, it's cutting my leg off, but you know, it's a thought that counts. Okay, it is now time to go home with our favorite alpha male, Derek. Love that guy. He's so blonde, and his eyes are so blue. And those are the people that I trust the most in life. He, he might just be top tier favorite under Ren, of course. <laughs> Before I opened my eyes, I felt someone grab my arms. How are you still asleep? You know, you wouldn't be here if you invested in NFTs. <laughs> He's so right. <laughs> I love when he teaches me stuff. <laughs> I told you to call me Scorpion. Derek, no one is ever gonna call you Scorpion. It's never going to happen. It's not going to happen, Derek. Scorpion is such a cool and badass nickname. And I don't know why they wouldn't call him that. Let's try to distract them. Let's be like, hey guys, I'm a better appetizer. Why don't I 
volunteers tribute. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna switch places. Something smells pretty strongly of daddy issues here. Okay, yep, it's my turn. Look at that handsome, handsome face. So, I love looking at it. Just love that guy, just wanna give him kisses on his face. Yeah, you hit like a girl. I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna do what he asked. We're not, don't do this, no. Uh-oh, this is dialogue I haven't seen before. And by uh-oh, I mean, oh yay. Where's my underwear? Did he cut it off? That's so hot. Uh-oh. I mean, yay! Epilogue. When the ropes were cut on the remaining victims, Chamomile and Jacqueline ran away together. Jack found them quickly and assumed he could easily assault them. He was wrong. The ladies ganged up on him, tackled him to the ground, and ripped the weapons off of him. They stabbed him in the gut with zero hesitation and let him bleed out in the sun. At night, they rested on the hill and discovered the entrance to the cave. Chamomile led the way, and they confronted Komodo and Dragon. Komodo and Dragon were outarmed. Jack and Cam still had Jack's knife and brass knuckles. They beat the lizards down and saved Tom. The three of them all had a weapon, so they immediately stormed the camp. They defeated Derek easily and slashed his throat in revenge for Cece. They found the map to the escaped vehicles and they drove to civilization. They all had a delicious meal and booked group therapy. They stayed friends for the rest of their days. The end. Yes! I mean, oh, oh no, Derek, my boyfriend. Oh, they got him. Oh dear. This fucking guy. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, Richard. The fuck, Richard? Oh, hey, Derek. Looking... Looking good. I'm so mad that he gave me up. Fuck that guy. I've got a... Good feeling about this. I found another CG! Yay! Warm milk. Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Slap it right in that goddamn sunbird. <laughs> Nothing to say now, bitch. Thought you loved pain. <laughs> I love Tom so goddamn much. <laughs> How's your tongue feel? Your fucking guy liner looks terrible. Oh, sorry, my sweet. Precious cinnamon roll. I didn't mean it. Kiss your dad with that mouth. <laughs> okay. Well, we don't want to kill him because he's too beautiful. So we'll leave him. Uh-oh. He's got Derek, my boyfriend. I have to save him. Stop, Machete, don't stab him in the throat. That's silly. There's my guy. And he's not tiny at all. He's just cold. Best ending. Best ending. 10 out of 10. Love it. I think I've stumbled upon another CG. Yay! Oh, there was no CG. Just the act. And some flavor text.
Guess I'll have to keep looking. How did you even catch me? You're a fucking smoker, I can smell it. Cocaine! <laughs> I choked on my last wheeze. Well, that explains that, I guess. Duct tape and a ring gag. Two of my favorite things. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. This is fun. And I'm having fun. Okay, time to slurp that crevice water. Yum. What's up, fucker? You drank the water. I sir, I slurped it up. <sighs> Grace us with his agony. In chaos we find reverence, in pain we find comfort. I am so glad that I am being sacrificed to my number one guy, Strayed. My terrified breathing hitched as Komodo stuck his fingers into the deep wound in my belly. Feeling closer to him yet. I sure do when I sure do feel close when you're doing that. So close. What are you doing, Komodo? That was so It's so hot. Oh Lanta. Accept this gift, yes. Um Sensation has rotted away on this plane. You are needed. Come on, strayed. Just... I feel just like I, I, I'm in the room with strayed. And look, we're all wearing the same green color for our guy. That's, that's our... That's our guy. There he is. Hey, buddy. I'm digging the hole in the tummy. Now we're matching twinsies. Except I think this one was caused by Ren. My other just top tier guy. Sorry that he ate your heart out of your chest. <laughs> I will treasure you. L yay! I love that for me. Thanks, Strayed. Okay, this time I'm gonna try to see my guy, Strayed. We're, we're gonna we're gonna wander around this desert until we die of thirst, and then he'll be there. absolutely take a look we're gonna take a look outside who is it who could it possibly be fuck you yeah you better run you little bitch there he is I found him I'm hearing things coward he's right I'm just such a coward for trying to survive where am I? Uh, I'm in Strayed Town, population two. Me and just my favorite guy hanging out. <laughs> okay, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. And it's, which way did I come from? North is, I don't know where I came from. Uh-oh. Your mind is broken. I looked up and listened. It's fun to watch. Thanks, Strayed. So glad I uh, can be of entertainment for you. Death is only the beginning. Ah, it's so funny. <laughs> nice job, Dingus. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, it's time for my favorite route, which is Celia. And the reason that it's my favorite is because she wants you to be very timid and docile. And I 
love doing that. That is my favorite in the whole world. So I'm so excited to play her part. You may call me Celia or Mommy. Thank you. I will be doing that. What was that last one? I said ma'am. She said Mommy. And that is what I love to call her. Hello, my name is Cece. It's a little weird, but it's still kind of hot. <laughs> yes, mommy, my name is Edward, and I'm a spineless little jellyfish. Yes, I love it when they call me names. Chill, mommy, that's enough. You don't need to beat me around anymore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, that's one of my favorite parts. What are you doing here? I looked around myself incredulously. <laughs> Deadass. <laughs> you are keeping me here. Oh, you are so drunk, Celia. Go home. I think I found another CG! <laughs> right in the middle of torture, so that's fun. <laughs> so our sanity's looking a little high still, so I figure we could have a drink. Oh, look, it's my favorite ending cage one where she cut out my tongue and put me in a cage oh celia i love being a, your pet in this cage you can stay down here yay uh upset i'm not upset you'll be here waiting for me yeah uh, yeah i'll be here Every day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so glad I got to read that. <laughs> Goddamn blurred out feet. <laughs> Ugh. I got all the, all the CGs did it, and it was so fun, and I'm so sad that I didn't play it with the sexual content on the first time. Silly me, I, I missed out on so much. Now if you'll excuse me, there are some people that I need to kidnap and sell so I can be like my husband and idol, Ren. But I am very glad that I went back and did this. And I hope you had fun and uh, have an amazing, wonderful April Fool's Day. I'm going to go do something that isn't crying. Okay, stay safe out there. Run forever. But you are so I'm bored now. I'm bored now. I'm bored now. I don't want to start a fight cuz I'm bored now. Don't want you to spend the night cuz I'm bored now. I already know I'm right cuz I'm bored now.